Hi, this is Dr. Amrita and welcome to the Health Wealth Bridge podcast. The health information provided on this podcast is for general awareness and educational purpose. It doesn't in any way replace a doctor's professional medical advice. Kindly consult your doctor in case of any decision regarding your health and diet. Affected wax, furuncle and acute otitis media were some of the commonest causes of earache. Other causes include trauma, referred pain from caries tooth, newly erupting tooth, mom's parotitis, different pathologies in oral cavity, oropharynx and larynx. Secretory otitis media can also cause low-grade pain in the ear. Otomycosis, a fungal infection of the ear, initially may not be painful, but later if untreated and if somebody tries to forcefully clean it, there might be pain. You might need a prolonged course of topical antifungal drop or in combination with other drugs depending on the condition. Whatever it is, you must visit a ear doctor to get your ears checked in case of pain in the ear. But what can you do to relieve the pain at home? Initially, before you visit a doctor, hot fermentation or warm compress over the ear can help. Sometimes over-the-counter pain medication could provide some relief too. But prolonged use of these pain medication is not recommended at all if your pain lasts for more than a day. Antibiotics, topical antibiotic ear drop, ointment, etc. will only be prescribed after an in-person visit to a ear doctor. Earache is very painful condition both for children and adults. Though 100% prevention may be difficult, you can definitely take some action to prevent many cases. Prevention includes having a daily hydration goal. Drinking more water makes your wax soft and liquid. The more liquid the wax, less is the chance to get impacted and cause infection. Consult your doctor in case of cold and nasal discharge which does not improve within a few days. Generally, earache starts after the fifth day of continuous cold and nasal congestion. Never clean your ear forcibly. It's better to apply a wax solvent eardrop and it is always better to visit your doctor before you start it. If the child complains of an earache, no eardrop, warm oil, etc. should be applied before consulting with the doctor. The ear is one of the five important sense organs and it definitely lets us know its importance when it aches. Prevention is always better. A earache and a headache with a chronically discharging ear is one of the danger signs for chronic otitis media. Watery discharge from the ear with earache after a fall or a head injury is also a dangerous sign. If your ear aches with a blocked feeling and reeling sensation of the head, these are all signs of ENT emergency and visit your nearest ER to get treated as soon as possible. You were listening to Dr. Amrita on the Health Wealth Rich Podcast.